Hello dear students, today's topic is the classification of substituent groups for electrophilic substitution reaction. The classification of substituent groups is highly important because by having the knowledge of substituent groups which are already attached to an aromatic ring, the knowledge help us to know the rate of reaction that is whether the reaction will be fast or slow and second the orientation of attachment of the electrophile that means whether the incoming electrophile will attach on ortho, meta or para positions. So for this purpose the substituent groups are classified into three types. The number one is the groups which are activating and directing the orientation at ortho and para position. So these groups are called as the activating ortho para directors. The second group is the deactivating groups which are the meta directors. And the last class is the deactivating but having the ortho para orientation. The activating groups that are the ortho para directors are further sub classified into three classes. Number one is the strongly activating group. Number two is the moderately activating group and number three is the weakly activating group. Let's look at all these classes one by one. So dear students the first class is the activating groups which are ortho para directors. These activating groups are the groups which activate the, the ring, aromatic ring towards the electrophilic substitution reaction. The examples like amino group, the hydroxy group, the alkyl amino group, the dialkyl amino group, these examples represent the strongly activating ortho para directing groups. Here we can see that all these groups have the electronegative element like the nitrogen and the oxygen which have the electron pairs with them. These groups shares this electron pairs with the aromatic ring and thus increases the electron density over the aromatic ring. And due to this, the electrophiles will find the electrons on the aromatic ring at a higher density. That's why the reaction proceeds faster. In these cases, the substitution takes place at all the ortho and the para positions. Let's look at the example. Here we can see that amino group is attached with the benzene ring and this compound is called as aniline. The amino group is the example of activating ortho para director group. So when aniline undergoes halogenation that is bromination in presence of carbon disulfide we will get the product 246 tribromoaniline. Here we can see that the electrophile bromonium ion get attached at all the ortho and the para positions with respect to the amino group. The reaction proceeds very fastly and uh, it requires only few minutes to complete the reaction. The next subclass is the ortho para directors which are moderately activating. If we look at the example, we find that they are the groups like methoxy group which is obtained by replacing the hydrogen of hydroxy group by a methyl. The ethoxy group, the acetamido group and the acetyl oxy group. 
this group is called as the amide group and this group is called as the ester group here we can find that the hydrogen of amino is replaced by COCH3 group here and here so when this substitution takes place over the amino and the hydroxy group due to the higher electronegative character of this carbonyl groups the electron density will not be that much shared with the aromatic ring with which these groups are attached therefore these groups tends to moderately activating the aromatic rings so in presence of such rings the substitution takes place at either an ortho or a para position let's look at the example for example when acetanilide is halogenated with bromine in presence of carbon disulfide we will get the product like 2 bromoestanilide and 4 bromoestanilide out of these two the 4 bromo product is the major product here we can see that the electrophile bromonium ion is gets directed at either ortho or the para position the next subclass is the ortho para directors which are weakly activating this group consists of the examples like methyl ethyl and the phenyl ring in this case the rate of the reaction is still slower and the substitution takes place at the ortho and the para position because the alkyl and the aryl groups are the electron releasing groups let's look at the example when toluene is reacted with nitric acid in presence of sulfuric acid the nitration reaction takes place and the electrophile nitronium ion is gets directed at either ortho or the para position out of these two products again the para substituted product is the major one the next class is a very very important one the deactivating groups which are meta directors here we have the example like nitro group the ammonium ion the acidic group carboxylic acidic group which is also called as hydroxy carbonyl the ester group which is called as alkoxy carbonyl group the sulfonic acid residue like hydroxy sulfonyl group the alkyl carbonyl group which represent the ketone and the aldehyde group here we can see that when all these groups when attached to the aromatic ring the atom which is directly attached with the aromatic ring is further attached with the very strong electronegative atoms for example in case of nitro group the nitro group is attached with aromatic ring by bonding with nitrogen and nitrogen is still attached with the highly electronegative oxygens so due to this the electronegative elements tends to attract the electrons towards themselves and in turn this nitrogen tends to attract the electron pair or sorry for the electrons from the aromatic ring with which it is attached due to this the electron density on the aromatic ring is somewhat reduced and that's why the reaction takes place slowly due to the attachment of these groups the incoming electrophiles will get attached at the meta position as i mentioned the rate of the reaction is slow and the reaction takes place <coughs> in hours and the substitution takes place at the meta position let's look at this example 
When nitrobenzene is reacted with methyl chloride in presence of aluminum chloride, the product obtained is 3 nitrotolvin. This is the example of Friedel Craft alkylation reaction where the methyl cation is the electrophile. So, here we can easily predict that the methyl cation electrophile is directed towards the meta position for the attachment. So, dear students, in cases of the deactivating groups, the attachment of electrophile is takes place at the meta position. The last group is the deactivating groups but which are ortho and para directors. We have a single example from this category and the example is the halogens like fluorine, chlorine, bromine and iodine. Dear students, we know that the halogens are the electronegative elements. So due to this they decrease the electron density on the benzene ring that's why they deactivate the aromatic ring with which they are attached. But like the activating groups they tend to release the electrons towards the aromatic ring that's why the substitution takes place at the ortho and the para position. Let's look at the example. For example, when chlorobenzene is reacted with methyl chloride in presence of aluminum chloride, we will get two products. The first one is the 2-chlorotolvin and the second one is 4-chlorotolvin where the 4-chloro product is the major one. So here we can see that the rate of the reaction is slow that means to, for completion of this reaction it takes some hours while the electrophile is gets introduced at the ortho and the para position. So on this basis we can see that the halogens are the deactivating groups but still they are the ortho para directors. So dear students that is all about the classification of the substituent groups in the electrophilic substitution reactions. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.